Joe go get the mail. V8 Spider Quattro S Tronic. Oh Gas money for an Audi R8. V8 Spider Quattro S Tronic. Oh my God, Drew. Now, uh, I don't know if you've... I don't know if you've seen gas money. Can I help you? We understand you have teleport powers. What? No. Don't lie to us, we're the government. We even know what you have on set. Turkey sandwich. We're gonna have to take you in for some questions. You really think you could escape from us? Yep, I can teleport. Wait, I can teleport. What's up everybody, Scott here from Scott Hill, and today I'm going to show you the very simple tutorial of teleportation. It's a very easy technique, so without further ado, let's jump right into Adobe After Effects. Open up your video by pressing Ctrl I and drag it into the new composition icon. Make sure you to have a shot without your actor and place it underneath the original video. For a second, disable the visibility of the original video and right click the blank one underneath. Go to time, freeze frame. Now stretch it towards the end. Re-enable the visibility to the video on top. Go to the point where you want your actor to appear and trim the video to that point. Now press T to enable opacity. Click the keyframe on the first frame. Set it to 0%. Move over three frames and set it to 100. Go to the point where your actor lands. Press Control Shift D on your computer to split the clip in two. Go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Trim the adjustment layer to fit like the one underneath. Go to Effects, Blurs, CC Radio Blur. Select Fading Zoom. On the first frames of the adjustment layer, keyframe it to 40. Move over three frames and set it to negative 50. Move over two frames and set it back to zero. Open up the smoke effect you downloaded from the description and place it underneath the adjustment layer. Go to Mode and set the video to Multiply. If you don't see this, click Toggle Switch Modes. And that's it. Congratulations, you have now teleported. Thanks for watching.